Hello students. So students, let us start with multiplying in two ways. In multiplication, there are two methods. One is horizontal method and the other is vertical method. In horizontal method, we have to multiply horizontally. Like for example, 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Okay. How you write the tables? That is called horizontal method. Alright. And then the other is vertical method. In vertical method, we place the digits vertically and then we multiply. Like for example, 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Okay. So now we will do few multiplications using vertical methods. So question number 20. Multiply the following numbers. 20A. In 20A we have 9 into 4. 9 into 4, how much is this? It is 36. So let us write 36 this way. Next is number B. 6 into 7. 6 into 7 is 42. So we will write here 42. Then next is number C. 5 into 5. 5 into 5 is 25. So we will write here 25. Okay. So now we will do question number 21. Before starting question number 21, let me tell you that now you will be doing multiplication without regrouping. Without regrouping means there will be no numbers for carrying. So you will not have to carry any numbers while doing the multiplication. Okay. So let me tell you how. And you have to place the digits in the ones column and the tens column. Okay. So now let us see number A. So question number A, the digits are placed in 1's column and 10's column. So we will multiply the digits first in the 1's column, then we will multiply in the 10's column. So 2 into 2 is 4. So 2 twos are 4. Next, we will multiply 2 into 4. 2 fours are 8. And the answer is 84, which means 42 into 2 is equal to 84. Question number B, 12 into 3. So first we will multiply 3 into 2, then we will multiply 3 into 1. Okay, so first let us multiply 3 into 2, 3 twos are 6. And 3 ones are 3. Okay. Then next is number C. 84 into 1. So 1 into 4 is equal to 4. And 1 into 8 is equal to 8. So 84 into 1 is equal to 84. Number D, 11 into 9. So, 9 ones are 9. 9 ones are 9. This means 11 into 9 is equal to 99. Okay. So, students, I have done till number D. The rest will be your homework. Okay. Now we have 
multiplication with regrouping this means you have to carry the digits while multiplying okay so question number 22 multiply by regrouping so we have arranged the numbers ones place tens place and we have kept the hundreds column also because you may get the answer in the hundreds place after multiplying okay now students let us start with question number a and look very carefully how the multiplication by regrouping is done okay so now see we have 23 into 4 So we will multiply four into three first. Then we will multiply four into two. So now let us multiply four into three first. Four into three is twelve. So we are getting two-digit number. The product is two-digit number that is twelve. So we will write two. Okay, and one will be. Carried over. Okay. After that, let us multiply four into two. Four twos are eight. So after you get the product, after multiplying, you have to add the digits which is carried over. Okay. So you have got eight. So eight plus one. Eight plus one is nine. Okay, I hope you have understood. Okay, so let us do next one. It will be more clear to you. Question number B. We have thirty-seven into five. So first we will multiply five into seven. Then we'll multiply five into three. Five sevens are thirty-five. So we are getting two-digit number as the product. So thirty-five will write the five here, and three will be carried over. Okay. So then we have five into three. Five into three is fifteen. So after you get the product, you have to add the digit which is carried over. That means fifteen plus three. So fifteen plus three is sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. So again, you are getting two-digit number. Okay, two-digit number. So you can write here eighteen. so you'll have to write just below the hundreds column okay you have to write one in the hundreds column so the answer is 185 okay next we will do question number c 35 into 6 now 6 into 5 then we will multiply 6 into 3 so 6 fives are Six fives are thirty, so we will write here zero, and three will be carried over. Okay, now six into three, six threes are eighteen. Eighteen plus three, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So you'll have to write twenty-one. So the answer is thirty-five into six is equal to two hundred and ten. Question number D. Thirty-six into three. So we'll multiply three into six. Then again we'll multiply three into three. Three six are eighteen. Eight, and one will be carried over. Three threes are nine. Nine plus one, it is ten. So we will write ten, 
and the answer is 36 into 3 is equal to 108 okay so students i hope you have understood so you practice more so that it will be clear to you okay and the rest will be for your homework all right so complete it and see you in the next class all right students thank you